So here's my annual spring wardrobe essentials and I have so many beautiful stunning pieces to share with you guys as always these are petite friendly pieces so for reference I'm five foot one and normally what I do is I usually do three separate videos for my spring haul I would uh, separate it from like shoes and dresses um, and then just basic clothing but today's video I just put it all in one video so that way in case you want to reference this for later you have one video to come back to instead of like three separate videos but because of that this video is going to be extra long so some of you may be excited for that some of you may not but I will do my best to get to the point really quickly as always everything will be linked in the description box according to the number that you see on screen today and this is gonna be a pretty long video so grab a coffee a drink a tea a soda anything you like and let's go ahead and hop right in let's start with outerwear I'm so excited for this one so every year I always recommend trench coats and I have been very much into really long length outerwear pieces and I realized I loved it so much for fall and winter I wanted to have that same like silhouette but for spring and for something that's more lightweight so this trench coat is from Banana Republic I'm wearing it in a size extra extra small petite you can definitely go up a size in this one um, it'll be a little bit more roomy so you can layer but I personally went with my smaller size I plan to just pretty much wear this for spring but um, um, I love the length of it. It hits like below calf for me. Again, this comes in petite, regular, and tall, I believe. Its color is stunning. It's like this beautiful, just khaki color. And it's lightweight, but still has really nice structure to it. So I was planning on only sharing one trench coat. I ordered a bunch, but I could not decide between this previous one and then this one here. But they're both trench coats, but they have completely different looks to them. So the first one is more cottony, structured, tailored. This one is more drapey, loose and flowy. This is also below calf for me. And as you can tell in the footages, when I move and walk, it just flows and drapes so beautifully. This you can actually, I just, I guess, depending on where you live, how hot your summers get, I really think you can actually wear this as a layering piece for the summertime as well, which I think is great. I went with a size zero, the smallest it comes in, and I tied in the back again. The length, drapiness is just absolutely stunning. Next up, we have this beautiful structured blazer. I think I've shared this already, but this is from Revolve, and this is definitely an investment piece, but you can wear this to work, outside of work, style it in so many different ways. I can even wear it with this outfit that I have on here and it looks so stunning. And it fits really well on the shoulders, they're padded. The sleeve length is just a tad long if you're on the petite side. What I really like about it is the length of it. It hits uh, below like the widest point of where like my hips and like thighs are. So I think the hemline of it is flattering if you're petite. It's not like super short or that awkward length. Sometimes I feel like blazers can be, but it's a little bit longer, but still structured and fitted, which I really, really love. Next up is something really cozy for a little bit more of those chilly spring days. This is a Sherpa jacket. I've had this on my wish list for forever. This was actually pretty inexpensive. I got it from Amazon. It's by their own brand. I have this in a size extra small. It is kind of long on the sleeve, so I did cuff them a little bit. Uh, but what I really like for a jacket that's really thick and fleecy like this, it's not so big and bulky and oversized. I mean, it has bulk to it, but it's more fitted in the body where it doesn't look like it's so massive and like swallows my frame completely. So I think for the style of this, they made this really well for it not to be so big, bulky, and oversized, considering that it's a really thick material. And what I also really like is that the buttons are so seamless. They are pretty much the same color as the material itself here. And it just looks really clean, really polished, really cozy as well. Okay, next up, I'm so excited. As you guys can tell, I really love the long length drapey silhouettes. I really wanted a cardigan like that for this spring and summer. This is more of like a duster and uh, the sleeve length is great. I love the length of it. I think it's like right below my knees, somewhere around there. It has pockets and what I think makes it really flattering since it doesn't have a belt, it actually has splits on the side. So it's nice, it has that split. So that way you have that break in fabric and it gives a really effortless look. So I got it in black and I also got it in this gray color. I was trying to decide between these two colors but a lot of you guys requested me sharing like more cooler tone pieces so I was like you know what 
I will get gray as well. I don't really have that many gray pieces, so it'll be fun to style. So anyways, this is very lightweight, very drapey. It has really good weight to it. It just sits and lays really nicely on, and I'm so excited to style this for you guys in my upcoming outfit ideas videos. Now let's move on to tops, which I think is the biggest category. So I have this beautiful blouse. This is from Cezanne, so this is definitely more of like an investment piece. It looks very vintage and it has a French vibe to it. And I really love the scallop detailing that it has throughout. Normally, I would wear it open like this because I love exposing the neckline, wearing long jewelry or jewelry on top. It has uh, beautiful sleeves as well. And I would say the body of this is kind of sheer, so you would have to wear a nude bra with it, but it looks very effortless, very stylish, beautiful, elegant. Next up, we have this beautiful blouse. This is more of like an off-white cream color. The whole body of it is smocked and stretchy. And then the sleeves are in a different material, a little bit more sheer, flowy, kind of similar to the Cezanne blouse here. Then it has a beautiful ruffle detail on the hemline of it. The length is so perfect if you're petite because you can wear it with high-waisted jeans and it just looks so seamless and polished, sophisticated, elegant. And what I love is that this is fuller bust friendly because the whole like body of it is smocked. So it's stretchy, fits really well. I'm wearing this in a size extra small. It also actually has a zipper in the back to get in and out of it now we're moving on to some sweaters so i got this fisherman crew from quince and i actually have this one in black i think i told you guys before i really wanted to get it in white it came back in stock and i immediately snagged it because this is one of my most worn sweaters for last fall and i really wanted to pick it up in white so it'd be perfect to throw on with jeans and flats and just have something really cozy and a little bit warmer for those cooler spring days for white it's absolutely not see-through my only con about this is that i wish they came in a smaller size the smallest size quince does is an extra small a little bit shorter shorter sleeve length just a little bit more petite friendly i would consider buying even more colors but even with that i still love it and wear it all the time next up we have this beautiful cardigan from Cezanne, and again i want to point out the button detail they're a little bit shiny kind of taupey color and this is in the color light beige and it's just so beautiful and so stunning um i would say that this does have some itch to it mainly in the sleeves which is interesting i mostly feel the itch in the sleeves nothing crazy but there is itch to it so if you're sensitive to it i wanted to point that out however i do also have to point out i don't know if it's the same for you guys but whenever i have sweaters that have itch to it the more I wear them, the less itchy they get. But this is so stunning, so beautiful, comes in many colors. Again, it's from Cezanne. I'm wearing the smallest size, which is an extra, extra small. Another piece from Cezanne, which I think I already shared this one before, but it's this striped sweater. And the cool thing about this one is that it has a version with the buttons that I purchased here, or it has a version without the buttons. I personally picked the one with the buttons because it kind of just adds a little bit more detail and it makes it a little bit more flattering um, if you have a fuller bust like I do. So it has that neckline exposure, which is so beautiful. I would say this is definitely a petite friendly piece. Like the sleeves are not too long. The length of the sweater itself isn't too long. What I also love about it, it's not super thick, but it's also not super thin. It's in between where where it just stretches and just smooths and fits you so well and looks really polished. And I actually have another um, Cezanne striped sweater that I shared so many times. It's the Leontine jumper, which I'll actually link it down below for you guys and insert a clip here. This one is more looser, flowy, more relaxed. So I love these two. The quality fit, everything on both of them are so fantastic. And I really love um, this fitted one here. So I think it's beautiful and a piece that you'll just have in your wardrobe forever. Ever, so it's highly recommended. Next up is this bodysuit from Abercrombie. So this is their ribbed scoop line bodysuit. I love getting bodysuits from Abercrombie. They're so petite friendly, fit so well, quality is great. I've really never been disappointed with their bodysuits. Um, and I really like this one because uh, it's in a ribbing material, but it's not thick ribbing like the quince uh, knit fisherman crew that i shared this one's a lot thicker and for the ribbing but the abercrombie one it's 
in the same ribbing material but it's thinner which i love because you can wear it on its own and you still stay warm look very polished and stylish and you can layer on top of it for those cooler spring days the next piece i got this one is from Cezanne. i did like a little mini haul from Cezanne. i pur i purchased like a few pieces and i just love all of them so another striped shirt i can never get enough of stripes honestly judge me i really don't care i love stripes that's why i have so many of them because i literally wear them all the time um this one is in a short sleeve version although the material is different if you compare it to the long sleeve version i mean they look similar but um the material is different this one is definitely more stretchy and i would say this is thinner as well so it's lightweight very airy breezy and it also when you tuck it in or put it on it looks very smooth and polished also has a beautiful button detail on the shoulders which i think is a really nice unique touch next piece is another short sleeve shirt this is also from Cezanne. this has beautiful button detail going all the way down the shirt it's a square neckline this one has a pretty wide neckline so i would recommend wearing probably a strapless bra with it or if you have a bra that has a wide um neckline that will also work for this but um this is really great stretchy beautiful like rib material to it again the buttons are fabulous they're actually the same as the shirt itself so the buttons are in a ribbing material which is so cool i've actually never seen that before uh, putting uh that rib material over buttons so that's a really nice unique touch that looks very seamless and polished but you still have that beautiful button detail okay this striped t-shirt we're gonna move on to more of the t-shirt uh, tops category but this is a long sleeve striped t-shirt i got this from abercrombie i love this because it's so loose flowy and relaxed but not oversized so i tuck it in and it looks so beautiful i actually really love that the sleeves are looser um just a nice different fit to just switch it up a little bit from something that's a little bit more fitted so i love how comfy and loose this is and i really like wearing this with either more elevated outfits with like a trench coat and jeans or i will wear it like in that more sporty athleisure style so it's very versatile and this is a budget-friendly striped sweater as well and this beautiful like heathered oatmeal top this is also a short sleeve or a half sleeve this is actually a half sleeve it's in a square neckline it's very flattering very like polished looking comes in many colors this is actually from amazon essentials so a great top great quality and it's also petite friendly it is a little bit longer in length if you compare it to the other shirts i showed you but it's, it's a thinner material it doesn't add bulk if you tuck it in which is always great in my books now a basic that's a little bit more elevated you probably already seen me wear these in previous videos but this is also from amazon what brand is this the drop i'm wearing these in a size extra extra small i loved it so much i got it in white so i first got the black then i got the white and I love the puffy sleeve detail. You guys know that I'm a puff sleeve girl forever. I think it's so girly, so fun. And for a basic t-shirt like this, I love wearing something that's slightly more elevated in like the fit and the design. So that way it just kind of switches up my regular basics that I would normally wear. So it's nice to have a basic like this yet elevated in a subtle way, which this is just so my style. And this material is like stretchy, kind of cotton jersey material. It just fits and looks so amazing. If they have more neutral colors in this, I am so tempted to purchase it. And then I think these are the two last tops I wanted to finish off with tanks for the tops category, but this is like a ribbed sweater tank. And these are so stunning. I got it in gray and in black. And actually these match the cardigans that I shared. So the Banana Republic cardigans I have, the colors match exactly. Then the material is pretty much exactly the same too. So I think that's cool. I actually saw the models in the picture uh, styling these cardigans with these sweater tanks and I loved it so much I'm like okay I have to get it I love how these have a wider strap so it makes it perfect to wear your regular bra with it I'm actually wearing like a pretty thick strap bra underneath these sweater tanks and you can't even tell looks so seamless and polished and I love the length of it because it's slightly cropped but it's not a full length it's not completely cropped but it's not a full length so it's in between if that makes sense so when you tuck it in it's just so perfect next I want to share these shorts I have this pair and another pair I'm going to share with you that I've been obsessed with so this is something that's a little bit more classy elegant sophisticated it has a longer length to it beautiful pleats I feel like it just hits right at the perfect spot on my waist line and kind of flares out but then has really nice structure to it because of the pleats and it doesn't hug my thighs it's very roomy and 
uh, loose and flowy but still structured polished and classy and i love this length too because it hits uh, below like my widest point of my thighs, which is right here So it hits at the more slimmer part of my thigh. So I think it looks so flattering like this Next up, we have this this is actually a skirt. So it looks like a skirt, but it's actually shorts So anyways, this is cool. It's in this uh, nice taupe color it has a zipper in the back to get in and out of it um, This nice hardware on the side here. So I think this like a line kind of cut Looks really flattering on the waist and hips. And it's also practical because it's short. So if you're a mom and want to look chic and stylish, this is great because um, it's actually short. So you can chase around toddlers and still look very chic and amazing at the same time. Okay, so for any spring or summer weddings coming up, especially if it's a warmer day, I feel like this slip dress would be so stunning. It's this beautiful champagne color. This is also from Quince. Very well made, very sleek and beautiful. And the straps are adjustable which is so great I'm so happy when brands do that <laughs> because uh, I personally need that strap adjustment especially being petite it just needs to lift up a little bit more um, and it flows really beautifully I mean look look at that shine it's just so stunning next up is this beautiful dress which I shared this in a haul recently but I wanted to put in this video because I feel like it's a really great flattering petite friendly spring dress it's from revolve and it's really girly and fun like the sleeves are ruffly I uh, have some crochet detailing to it on the like shoulders the chest of it and then on the hemline of the dress It's so so beautiful very well made comes with a belt So you cinch it at the waist highlights your curves the length is perfect perfect because it's not too long and i love how you can wear just a regular bra with this dress if i find a dress i can wear a regular bra with it's just so much better and just a million times more amazing and just more comfortable during the day so i love that now let's move on to jeans okay we have jeans purses and shoes left so hopefully you guys are still sticking around if you are let me know if you're still watching this video i feel like this is a pretty long video already at this point anyways i got these jeans i shared them before in my denim review actually if you want to see more denim jeans if you're in the market for any i'll link a video up here for you guys just sharing my designer jeans collection which personally if you have the budget for it that's what i really recommend purchasing now because personally from my experience that's all I wear is just my premium designer jeans. They fit, look, feel amazing. Quality is unbeatable. So my favorite brand is Girlfriend, but also a Goldie, which I'll share in just a moment. So these two are Girlfriend. I couldn't narrow down which black pair to share with you guys because I love them both. So I'll just put them side by side here. One is the Piper Stretch High Rise Fit, which is the super high rise one in that more skinny style. And then the next one is the girlfriend carolina straight crop jean uh this one has a more straight like fit to it so depending you know if you're looking for one these are the two different fits that i recommend i love both of them equally as much the more high-waisted one the piper version is way more stretchy and very comfortable the carolina straight crop the one that's in that straight fit is more stiff and rigid and both of these i would recommend going down a size i feel like girlfriend runs a little bit big and then this is my favorite light wash pair this is also the girlfriend carolina straight crop although this is in a petite the black version is not the petite this one is a petite so it has a shorter inseam this is a 23 inch inseam so it's a perfect crop length for me and this one is in a size 24 this is where i discovered that i needed to size down in this style so these are a little bit big but they still fit and they're fine they're just a little bit more looser and relaxed but they're so flattering very well made if i'm wearing a light wash jeans 99% of the time it's these and for really nice classic medium wash pair i really like uh the a uh, goldie i think this is the jamie high rise fit something like that <laughs> i can't remember i think these are the jamie jeans i have them in a size 23 they do run big as well so go down a size if you're in between two sizes this is in a crop length, so for me, it's like a full length jean pretty much. And these have really good stretch to them and they just hug and flatter 
everything and I think they look amazing and back pockets are great it has a little bit of distressing on the hemline here again if you're looking for more denim jean recommendations I'll link a video up here for you guys so you can see a few more options now we're moving on to shoes and for my first pair I wanted to recommend beiges because uh, white sneakers are just very classic for spring and summer these are an investment piece and actually pretty soon I'm going to come out with a video reviewing all of my white sneakers I have a a variety of different styles that I'm going to review for you guys so um, if you're not in a rush to get a pair of white sneakers you can wait till I publish that video which should be in like a few weeks probably um, but my favorite ones are these specifically uh, because they just give a little bit more of a vintage and French vibe to it and I also love the slight like light beige logo on it I think normally I'm not into logos when it comes to clothing but in this case I think it's done really well and it looks really cool these are also very comfortable from in my personal experience the comfort has been amazing especially since they are real leather they stretch and they give over time soften a little bit so they become even more comfortable to wear so for me definitely worth the investment and they look so stylish with any outfit and then I wanted to share these beautiful two-tone flats so I have to point out these come very stiff they do need to be broken in my tip for that is to wear them with thick socks around the house for a few days maybe like an hour or two a day and that should help kind of stretch them out and be easier to wear when you do go out and actually wear them for the day but they are so stylish chic French and I really wanted to get these because I have my two-toned pumps that I'm about to share with you guys and I really wanted a flat version and these are just so stunning they're under $100 quality is great they just do need to be broken in next up are these knit flats I feel like these are such an essential for spring they are so comfortable too because they're both in a knit material so whether you have narrow or wide feet they just stretch and form to your foot shape which is just such a plus and make it so much more easier and more practical to wear during the day and these two are from two different sites so the black ones are from dsw i got these actually last year they still have them in stock i believe and they just came out with like a nude color in this style and then these taupe ones are from amazon these are actually more affordable if you're comparing it to the dsw ones i think the amazon ones are around 25 dollars the dsw ones i think are 50 so personally i would recommend go for the amazon ones because they're cheaper and they're the exact same quality as the black pair and they have so many more color options great neutral color options you can get them with the bow or without the bow so these are my top picks for knit flats i think they are so stylish and practical at the same time okay next up i have a couple pumps so my cap toe pumps that i've been sharing since i started this channel so for like three years now i cannot do a wardrobe essentials video without mentioning these because honestly at this point they're just a staple a classic a signature piece in my wardrobe and on my channel so i love these unfortunately they are older out of stock but i found two similar options that i will link down below for you guys if you wanted this style and then these are by Franco Sarto. They are in a light creamy color. Love these as well. The heel is also in this like shiny metallic material, which I think is pretty cool. It adds a little bit more style to the shoe. And these are incredibly comfortable as well. These also come in multiple colors, but I think this light creamy color was my favorite one out of the bunch. And these, I believe, are fully in stock as well. Okay, three more things or two more things. Purses. Okay, so I got two new purses for springtime that I'm obsessed with. They're affordable, under $50. So this first one is from Quince. I mean, how stunning is this one? It's so minimal and so chic. Um, and it's also really easy to open and close the bag. And it has a decent amount of space just to fit your essentials. So phone, keys, wallet, uh, maybe a snack. That's actually what I have in here. I have a snack. <laughs> I just wish this bag came in more colors because I would have instantly purchased it. So hopefully one of these days they'll come out with a light creamy color, maybe white. And I just love how minimal and polished this is. And also the straps 
are very adjustable as well. I can adjust it even one more and it'll sit a little bit higher, which is my issue with bags. A lot of time, you know, they don't adjust enough. I'll have to punch more holes or they sit really low here, which I don't like. So this one, I really appreciate they added more holes to it. So for petite girls, we can actually adjust it to our height, which I think makes it look great. So anyways, love this one. Okay, and did I not tell you guys that I was going to get more quilted bags for the springtime? I got these two from Amazon. So they're the same. I got it in black so and then I also got in this cream color so they are so beautiful very well made very affordable and they give such a expensive French look to the outfit and I just love how sleek and polished they are you open it up it has a decent amount of space and it opens and closes really easily as well which is great and then I love this color because it's not like a pure white it's off-white and I love the gold hardware in it as well so I love everything about these bags except one slight con to it is that I prefer to wear it like this uh, because if I just have it open like this, I feel like it sits a little bit too low. I feel like this is a little too low for me. For me, bags that are uh, crossbody, I would love for it to be right here. That's my preferred spot. I still think this is fine, not a big deal, but personally, I would wear these bags like this. So I would wear them with more dressy outfits. So like with this outfit, I'll probably wear it together like this and I think it will look beautiful. So um, if you're looking for quilted bags, I really like these. They're inexpensive, they look stylish and very well made as well. All right, you guys, so we made it to the end of this video. That was over 30 chic pieces for springtime. We have outerwear, tops, bottoms, dresses, shorts, shoes, bags. So I really hope you guys enjoyed me just combining all of these pieces into one video. Because again, I normally just separate it because of just how many pieces I usually share, but I just kind of condensed everything, put it into one video. So in case you need to reference anything, you have one video to come back to. And if you're not looking to shop for spring pieces right now, you can actually always save this video so you can reference back to it later and find any pieces that you're looking for. And as always, everything is linked in the description box down below according to the number that you saw on screen today. My sizing is written down there as well and what size I'm wearing in each piece is written down there for your reference as well. And again, I really, really hope you guys love this video. I put so much work into just prepping and planning and trying out different pieces and just trying to make sure all the pieces that I picked, you can style with each other and with the pieces that you already have in your wardrobe and make endless, beautiful, chic, and timeless outfits. So a lot of thought and planning went into this. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to save it if you need to reference it for later. Subscribe if you happen to be new and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!